Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Vlog Talk, where we vlog and talk. And today is Worship Wednesday, where we worship God on this Wednesday. We really worship Him every day, but because this is Wednesday, this is Worship Wednesday. Hallelujah. And so I have a very, very interesting topic for you guys. I pray that you guys are well. I pray that all is well with you all. Hallelujah. Um, don't forget to send in those prayer requests. And um, so that I may be guided into praying for you or with you in a specific, specific way. Hallelujah. And also, I ask that you guys uh, continue to pray for me as well. Um, I mentioned prior that I stepped out on faith to begin to see the manifestations of the glory of God. And also, it has pruned me in a magnificent way. Hallelujah. And it has allowed me to be a significant contribution to this entire world. Okay, and so I ask that you continue to pray for me as I continue to step, walk by faith and not by sight. Hallelujah. And see the uh, manifestation. So basically, pray for me as I continue to walk by faith into this grace. Okay, and I will do the same for you. Hallelujah. And so we're going to get into prayer. And for those of you, again, who do not know how to speak in tongue, don't worry about it. We will fix it. We will take care of that by the end of this vlog. And for those of you who do, we're going to go ahead and worship the Lord. And um, we're going to worship him regular, regularly. Hallelujah. So we're going to start off by giving God thanks. Hallelujah. And then going into speaking in tongue. And again, for those of you who do not know how to speak in tongue, don't worry about it. Again, uh, it will be handled. And so we're going to go to go ahead and give God praise. Roshig la hayoros te Father, thank you. Oh, God, thank you, thank you, and thank you, Father. Thank you for this Wednesday. Thank you, Father. Thank you for waking us up this morning. Close an hour, right mind. Hallelujah, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Oyo Roste. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, for closing shoes on our back and the roof over our head, Father. I thank you. Thank you, thank you, and thank you, Lord. Thank you that everything is well. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Glory to God. Go ahead and speak in tongue. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Oh, Glory, glory, and glory. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Well, today we have an interesting topic. Hallelujah. We have an interesting topic. Praise God. Praise ye the Lord. And so, as you know, guys, there is a question every other day. And that question reads, what is your best advice for planning a trip? So, my best advice would be to just, just have a good time. Oh, let's see. Make sure that you know where you're going. Because it's nothing like going on a trip and being running, having to run around in circles because you're lost. And you just spent maybe five hours trying to find the place. So just make sure you know where you're going. Have a map. Get your Google map out. Make sure that you know how many, uh, <clears throat> praise God, how many miles that you're going to travel. Hallelujah. And so that would be my advice to you all. And just comment below and let me know what are some of the advice that you guys would give. Okay, because I definitely would like to know. And so today, this is um, going to be a very interesting topic. It's called demonstrate. So God had me to take the word demonstrate, and he pointed out the word demon and the word demonstrate. So we know the first five letters in the word demon, um, hallelujah, straight, is the word demon. And so I said, Father, praise God, that is a very interesting topic. Praise God. Demonstrate. And I thought about it. I said, hmm, 
So what is the demons demonstrating? Praise God. And so I thought about the White House again. I don't know. It just popped up in my mind that uh, it's a lot of wickedness going on in the White House and not sat outside the White House. Praise God. Even outside of the White House. Praise God. That there are people. Praise God. There are looting and, and for various reasons, but we know that it's not the act of God. So it's the act of wickedness, correct? And so we have uh, stealing and breaking in cars and breaking in people's homes and all of this wickedness that is being displayed in the land. Praise God. We got all of this wickedness, praise God, that is being displayed in the land once again. And so why, why is this wickedness being, di being displayed? I ask God, hallelujah. And he began to take me, hallelujah, uh, to the book of 1 Samuel, praise God. Glory to the Yoshe. And that we're going to go from 1 Samuel chapter 5. And we're going to talk about 1 through 12. Why is all of this wickedness coming up on this land? Praise God. Why is people uh, doing so much wickedness? Who's behind this evil? So we know who's behind it, right? For the name speaks for itself. Demonstrating. But anyway, let's go to the book of 1 Samuel. 1 Samuel. Hallelujah. We're going to go from 1 Samuel. We're going to start at chapter... Chapter 4. So chapter 4 talks about how the Israelites had a battle with the Philistines. And so during that battle, there was a image, an ark, hallelujah. There was this, uh, this image that was stolen, this Dagon image that was stolen from them from the Israelites. So the Philistines stole this image, this image that the uh, Israelites worshipped. And, and this image became their God. And so, hallelujah, the Philistines uh, got into a meeting and said exactly what they were going to do. That uh, during the war, hallelujah, they would uh, sl slaughter the men, praise God. Hallelujah, to be quiet and slaughter the men. That they were going to be uh, quiet and do what they, were, what they came to do, which is to slaughter the men. And so they won the war against the Israelites, praise God. Okay, they won the war. And then after the war, when the war was over, praise God, they stole this graven image. And so they brought it onto their town. Hallelujah. So that's basically what uh, chapter 4 was talking about. They stole it, their art of God. They stole the art of God. They called it the art of God, this graven image, okay, that they had stolen from the Israelites. And so they stole that image and they brought it onto their land. Hallelujah. They brought it from um, Ebenezer, which is where they uh, where the war took place. Hallelujah. And so they brought it from Ebenezer. Praise God. Hallelujah. And they brought it onto a city called Ashdod. Ashdod was the, hallelujah, was the first city that they brought it to. Praise God. And so they began to bring it there. And they brought it into the uh, house of Dagon next to Dagon. Hallelujah. And so... This is chapter 5. After they brought it from that city to the city of Ashdod, hallelujah, they brought it uh, and set, brought it in the house of Dagon. And they set it by Dagon, who was their God, hallelujah. So they set this graven image by the, uh, Dagon, hallelujah. And they called the image Dagon. Praise God. And so they left. And then on the next day when they came in, praise God. When they came in the next day, the image had fell upon his face. And then they set the image up and left and went out. And then the next morning, the image fell and the head came off the image and so did the palms of the hands. Hallelujah. And so the only thing was left was the stumper, which was the body, the, uh, lower, the lower part of the body. Hallelujah. And so, hallelujah, when this was so, praise God, they knew that something was wrong. Hallelujah. And then verse 7 says, And when the men of Ashdod saw that it was so, because, uh, hallelujah, after that, hallelujah, after this had taken place, uh, the men and women, the people, right, the people began to have emeralds. And emeralds are tumors. Hallelujah. So they began to, uh, to uh, hallelujah, find curse, find a curse in, the, in this land. So they were being cursed. This image had brought evil into the land. Hallelujah. 
stay with me. So the image was brought into the city of Ashdod. And hallelujah. So in the city of Ashdod, this image kept falling and falling until his head came off the second time that he, this image fell. Praise God. And so did the palm of his hands. And then so after that had taken place, uh, the people began to have all types of sickness up on their bodies. Hallelujah. Just kind of like it is now. People are, are suffering with tumors and illnesses and of any of all kind, right? Cancer and all that has been taken, trying to take over the land. Hallelujah. And so these people were suffering with all types of illness. Hallelujah. And when they saw that it was so, they decided to take Dagon out of their city because they said that the hand of the Lord is up on them. And hallelujah, is up on them heavily. It has smote smote them. Hallelujah. Smite them. Hallelujah. So that means that God has cursed them. They were saying that God cursed them, that God allowed this evil to take place. Hallelujah. We know that God is not in the cursing business, but he did allow the enemy to have his way in that land and allow the enemy to put these diseases and evil upon this land. And so they decided to take this Dagon image to the next city and carry it out into the city of Gath. So Gath was the second city, praise God, that they uh, took this image to. Hallelujah. So they carried this image to Gath. Hallelujah. And but there when they brought it there, there was a great destruction that took place upon this city. And then there were people also who began to have sickness and emeralds and secret places of their bodies. Okay. All types of tumors in their bodies. Hallelujah. Okay. So when they saw that there was confusion with this, they decided to take it to the third city, which was the uh Erkan, the city of er uh hallelujah. Um Erkan, uh where the ek oh god praise god Echonites dwell hallelujah but when they brought it there the city um rejected the uh image hallelujah they said take it to its own place for we have heard there has been men sick and and and, and those have died hallelujah because of this graven image we don't want it here go take it to its own place and for the people that didn't die they have emeralds Oh God, how y'all those to the Dios you feel with all types of sickness and disease. And we don't want it here. So go take it elsewhere. I y'all those to the Dios you take it where it needs to belong. Take it to his own place, it said. Hallelujah. They said. Hallelujah. And so they began to the people began to cry to heaven, um, the Ammonites. Um, praise God. Echonite, excuse me, began to cry unto heaven. And so what did they do? The Philistines had no choice but to take it elsewhere. Oh, my God. And so they began to take it to the priests and to the um, let's rewind. Let's see how long they had this. Uh, praise God. They had this image for seven months and it has caused a great destruction in every city that they took it, including their own. Praise God. So the, this wickedness, hallelujah, they were worshiping other gods. And that's kind of like what people are doing now. They're worshiping other gods. And so there is a, that's the part of the reason why there is great, a great wickedness in the land. I remember when I was even on us uh, various jobs, praise God. And the uh, managers wouldn't want me to say, bless you, or wouldn't want me to just, you know, uh, on my spare time and on my break to praise God. Now I'm on my break. Okay, God did say that things have to be done in decency and in order, but I'm on my break and I'm praising God and they had a problem with that. How y'all those to the Dioshe? I guess they had their own gods or that maybe they believed in no God. How y'all those to the Dioshe? So whatever it was, there was a problem. There was a problem because I'm worshiping my one and only God, the Jesus, Jesus, the son of the living God. I'm worshiping. Hallelujah. The son of the living God. I'm worshiping the son of the living God. And they had an issue with that. OK, some of them didn't even believe in God or knew that there that he exists, but refused to acknowledge him. Kind of like what's going on today still. OK, people refuse to acknowledge God. They took Bibles out the uh, schools. OK, so they're trying to leave God out of the system. And that's why we have a failing system. That's why this is why there is so much evil in the land. OK, so remember when they took the Bibles out, they had to replace it with metal detectors. Hallelujah. So that uh, children wouldn't bleed. So that children. Children wouldn't bring knives and, and guns to school. Hallelujah. Okay. To protect 
the other students and themselves hallelujah so and protect the principal and protect the teachers or whatever have you okay and so the um error was when they tried to leave god out of it just like what they're trying to do now leave god out of the system and that's why they don't really know what to do the republicans don't know what to do the democrats don't know what to do uh in some cases the president is comfy you know don't really know what to do a lot of people don't know what to do hallelujah okay there are so many people that don't want don't know what to do because they're trying to leave God out of it is what I'm saying don't even know uh, I, Lori Lightfoot and um, other uh, people that she's partnering with the mayor uh, I'm sorry she is the mayor uh, partnering with uh, other people to try to figure out how to cease this coronavirus but you cannot cease it without the Lord okay I'm just saying I'm not uh, calling people out or anything like that I'm saying that Hallelujah. I'm saying, praise God. That these, uh, praise God, there are people in the land. I'm not saying anything about these individuals. No, bless them. No, I'm not saying anything bad about them. I'm saying that individuals in this land that are in high places are wicked. Is what I'm saying as a whole. We have wicked individuals, uh, wicked uh, spirits in high places is what I'm saying. So I'm not talking about people. I'm saying that there is wickedness in this land that is running this world wickedly. And that has caused a great uh, illness to come upon the land. <clears throat> Hallelujah. That has caused uh, a whole bunch of wickedness, a whole bunch of great destruction to dwell in this land. Hallelujah. Because we're trying to take God out of it and leave God out of our lives and leave God out of our, uh, praise God, out of everything that concerneth, that concerneth us. And we cannot do that because that will allow the enemy by default. If we take God out of it by default, we choose the enemy. Okay. This is by default. Hallelujah. Praise God. So I don't want to get too caught off. Uh, caught up in that, but uh, back in chapter five. So there was a great destruction in the land. Praise God. And so they took it from the Archons among the Echonites and they brought it unto the priests and they brought it unto the diviners. And I wanted to know what were the uh, diviners, praise God. Diviners, what is diviner? What is, what is a diviner? I asked the Lord. And so I began to look up the word diviner and that is the practice of attempting to foretell future events or discover hidden knowledge by uh occult or supernatural means a gray hallelujah um, pro i hope i'm saying it correctly to prophesy basically to prophesy to prophesy what would happen next and what shall we do to so uh praise god a diviner hallelujah i pray i'm pronouncing that right as well a diviner praise god is one who uh foretells the future who tells you who prophesies hallelujah on what uh will happen next praise god so these diviners and these priests began to tell them what to do they told them that when you return it back to return this stone back to where you stole it from and you stole it from the Israelites, hallelujah, you're going to return it, but you're not going to return it empty handed. You're going to return it with an offering. And this is what you are going to offer them. Hallelujah. You're going to offer them. Praise God. Five golden emirates and five golden mice, according to the number of mice. According to the number, I'm sorry, according to the number of the lords of the Philistines, for one disease plague was on you all and on your lords. Hallelujah. So this is what you're going to do. So they took it, the, the, the tumors, hallelujah, that they had, they made it out of an image, out of a golden image. Hallelujah. And they want to go, we're going to take that image, those images and send it before the israelites along with this ark okay along with this graven image along with the mice and uh praise god and so forth and so they began to do this praise god 
And then the priest and the, the vendors, praise God, told them that if you do this and give God glory, give God Almighty the glory, then he will lighten his hand up off you and your land and your lords. Hallelujah. He will, he will, and this reminds me of Jeremiah 33 and 11, that if you give me the praise, then I will cause things to be reversed, to put things back as they were at first if you give me me the god almighty if you give me the praise i will return captive hallelujah i would allow things to be reversed to return to return your healing praise god and that's exactly what the priests and the vendors said to them praise god that if you do this and you give god almighty jesus christ the messiah the praise if you give him the praise hallelujah he will heal you he will heal your land he will heal your lords praise god and they did just that praise god so they did and then they began to give them specific instructions on what else needs to be done hallelujah and then verse 7 says hallelujah actually let's go to first, uh, verse 6 so this is chapter 6 verse 6 in first samuel praise god therefore then do you harden your hearts as the Egyptians and Pharaoh uh, hardened their hearts. Hallelujah. Uh, will you harden your heart? The priests and the diviners asked uh, the Philistines. Should you harden your heart? Hallelujah. Praise God. Then they said Pharaoh hardened their hearts. Hallelujah. No, no, no. It said that shall you harden your hearts like the Egyptians and Pharaoh harden their hearts praise god when he had walked wonderfully among them talking about pharaoh did they not let the people go when pharaoh told them to let the people go that they surely let the people go praise god and they departed so they were saying that okay well if pharaoh had them to let the people go surely the lord if you do this thing that the lord will light in his hand for but remember that i said praise is key to breakthrough also praise is key to breakthrough praise god and so they needed healing. Praise is a positive response to it already being done. Hallelujah. It puts you in position to receive. So they told them to praise the Lord and do what they were instructed to do. And then verse 7 says, Now therefore make a new cart and take new mulch. Uh, milch. I pray that I'm saying this right. To take two uh, milch can on which thou had come no yoke and tie the kin to the cart and bring their calves from home them so bring the calves hallelujah and take the art of the lord this image and lay it up, lay it up on the cart and put the jewels of gold hallelujah these golden uh, emeralds hallelujah and jewels of gold and put the jewels of gold so these uh, golden emeralds as i stated prior which you Return him, return the image for a trespass offering and a coffer by the side thereof and send it away that it may go. Now, they said, chapter uh, verse 9 says, and see if it go up by the way of his own coast to Beth Shemesh, then he had done, uh, hallelujah, he had done us this great evil. So let me break it down. If they take this image and put a, you know, put the gold and everything, put it on the cart, put the image on the cart and lay the gold and everything on the, on the side of this, uh, this image. And if this image goes to, if it leaves in the way of the city of Bath Shemesh, then they know that the image has called them worshiping this image and this image itself has caused this great evil okay to come up on the cities but if it doesn't go that way then he shall know then we shall know that it happened by chance by luck or it's bad luck or whatever have you and so verse 10 and the men did so and took two much two milch hallelujah ken and tied them to the cart and shut their calves at home hallelujah verse 11 and they laid the ark of the lord up on the cart and the calf Hallelujah, the coffer with the mice of gold and the images of their emeralds. So they had the mice of gold and the images of their emeralds and this uh, graven image, praise God. 
Hallelujah. So they did that. Praise God. And then the image, verse uh, 12 says that the image went in the way of Bathamesh. Praise God. It went in the way of Bathshemesh. And so because it went in a way that they know that it was indeed the image that caused this great uh, evil to come up on the cities. Hallelujah. So it went in the way of this city called, uh, uh, hallelujah, Joshua. Joshua in the city in the field of Joshua a Beth Shemite hallelujah and so when it got there there was a great stone in the city I'm sorry in the field of Joshua there lay hold a great stone praise God and so when the uh, Levites saw the stone uh, when the Levites saw this uh, graven image and the cart and everything coming their way, they rejoiced. Hallelujah. They rejoiced because they thought that it was going to be a good thing. Praise God. They had to have think that it was going to be a good thing if they rejoiced. And so they rejoiced, praise God, thinking that it was going to be, this was going to be something good because remember they returned it onto the land. Praise God. And so um, the Levites, Levites saw it. Levites saw it and rejoiced. And so hallelujah they were able to offer up the image along with the silver uh, hallelujah along with the jewels along with the uh golden emeralds hallelujah and the mice uh milch uh golden milch praise god i pray i'm saying that correctly along with the jewels of gold yes and along with the uh praise god the uh golden uh emeralds praise god and everything else that came with it um in the car so the image the the melt the milch can uh praise god the golden praise god the mice of gold and the graven images of the emeralds hallelujah along with the stone along with the ark the image praise god and so anyway they began to offer up the burnt offering the philistines offered this burnt offering and so they did that and when the Philistines saw that this image and everything was off of their hands. They knew that they did what they were supposed to do and that they expected their healing and their land and so forth. Okay. And everything to be at peace again, like how it was at first. And so they went off. And so verse 17 says, and these are the golden emeralds, which the Philistine returned from a trespass, trespass offering. So this is what they offered. And it says, this is what they offered them. One Ashtot, one Gazer. So they offered one, each city that they went to, they offered, uh, praise God. There was a, I'm trying to put this, oh, praise God, help me, Father. They offered each tumor. There was a tumor for each Lord. Hallelujah. There was a tumor that each Lord uh, suffered every time that they went to each city. And so the first city that they went to remember was Ashdod. So that's one tumor for, uh, they took one tumor for that was one disease that covered them all. Hallelujah. And then the second tumor <clears throat> was Gazar. Tumor, one, uh, the the second, hallelujah, stay with me. This is the second tumor. This is what they offer in the graven image. One tumor for each city. Okay. And so um, the graven image uh, represented each tumor for each city. Okay. I pray that that made sense. So Ashdod was uh, not tumor number one. Remember that they went to Ashdod first. Hallelujah. So that was the tumor to represent that city, the stone. Okay. The tumor stone. And then the tumor stone number two was uh, Gaza. Gaza. Hallelujah. And then the tumor stone number three was Ak uh, Aklon. Asklon. Praise God. And the tumor stone number four was Gath. And then the tumor stone number five was Ekon, which is where they dropped, their, dropped the image off at. Because they're going to begin to have the tumors and things like that. So, hallelujah. So, there were five graven images of the tumors that represent each city. Okay? And so, that was, uh, what to the ocean, the five tumors that were given to um, Ekon. Praise God. But then, hallelujah, um, they begin to... Um, witnessed the same thing. They began to get sick and have tumors in secret places and so forth. Okay. Um, they began to be lamented. And I wanted to know what that meant. Lamented. So L-A-M-E-N-T-E-D. Lamented. Praise God. And it means a conventional way of describing someone who has died or something that has been lost or that has ceased to exist. And so I'm going to go ahead and read. Let's go ahead and read 19. Praise God. So after they had dropped this image off in the field of Joshua among the Beth 
Shemites. Hallelujah. Um, verse 19 says, And he smote them, and he smote the men of Beth Shemesh, because they had looked into the ark of the Lord. Even he smote the people of fifty thousand and three scores and ten men, and the people lamented. Oh God, oh my goodness. So lamented, a conventional way describing someone who has died. Oh my goodness. So they lamented. Oh my God, they died. Praise God. Because the Lord has smitten many, the people was a, uh, uh, because the Lord has smitten many of the people with a great slaughter. Oh my goodness. Hallelujah. And again, a conventional way of describing someone who has died. So yes, they died. Yes, yeah, so they basically uh, ceased because this image brought the evil to their land. So now they're dealing with this great slaughter and they're dealing with this curse, okay? All because they're worshiping false gods, again, like it is today. So this is why um, the world is like it is today because most people who are in high positions, so the spirit of wickedness dwell in their, in them, hallelujah, stay with me, the spirit of wickedness dwell in the people in high places, okay? So there is uh, wickedness, spiritual wickedness, principal in high places that is trying to operate without God and then some of them are making uh, images their gods and this is has this has brought confusion into the land anywho uh, I don't study the ocean where was I um, verse 20 says the men of Beth Shemesh said who is able to stand before this holy God to whom shall he go up from us and they shall send messengers to inhabitants. So basically what they're saying, uh, is inhabitants of Kirtjath, Gerim, I pray I'm pronouncing that right, Gerjath, Jerim, saying, the Philistines have brought again the art of the Lord. Come ye down and fetch it up to you. So they're trying to get rid of it to... And they're trying to take it to another city, basically, because it has caused all this confusion. My God, they has caused all this confusion. So this image, is, this image has been going from city to city, as we learned, okay? And then everywhere it went, there was confusion, right? There was diseases upon the people and upon the land. And so they didn't need that, so they passed it along, passed it along, and everywhere they went, it was just confusion. And so now they're trying to get rid of it and pass it to another city. So it's going to be the same thing. So they're running in circles with this thing okay it's like a repeat like a dog chasing his tail it's the same thing so until you worship the lord your god uh if you if you till you worship god in, 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 in the the Oshay, acknowledge the fact that jesus is lord and that there is no other god you won't have to worry about wickedness in the land poverty is another wickedness in the land okay God said it is he that caused us to have power to get wealth, not the images that you worship, but the only God, the only God, Jesus Christ, the Messiah that caused you to get wealth. OK. Praise God. And so that's kind of all I got for today. Praise God. That's all I got for today. I pray that you found this message of a value and I pray that you learned something today. OK. And. For those of you who found this message of a value, one, I want you to go ahead to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Forward this video to a friend if it if you believe that this video will be a, a benefit to someone you may know. Okay? And so I wanted to also say for those of you who want to make the Lord, the God Almighty, the Son of the Living God, your God, you have to get in the kingdom in order for Him to be your God and for you to see great things and in order for you to live a life without limits hallelujah and to walk and see the manifestations of the glory of god in every area of your life and so in order to do that you have to just understand that all things are through christ okay and with that being said let me ask my famous amos question if the world was going to end today would you be going to heaven or to hell if the answer is no or i don't know then repeat this prayer after me dear lord i come to you now just as i am you know my life you know how i've lived forgive me lord i believe that jesus died and rose the third day hallelujah you are saved and i'm going to speak to your minds just like ezekiel spoke to the bones minds be ye transferred Put off the old man and put on the new man. 
Gird up your loins, be single-minded, peace be still. You will no longer think to act like the world. You are kingdom-minded now in the name of Jesus. You are whole. And so just receive that. You are now saved, sanctified. And if I pray, glory to God. I challenge you today to open your Bibles. And find out more about who you are. Find out more about God. And how he sees you. And all the promises of God. And go around and praise him. And you're going to begin to receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Because the Holy Ghost is going to begin to change your speech. Okay? Well, that's all I got for today, guys. I'm going to pray us out. Pray us in closing. And I will see you guys on tomorrow on Thriving Thursday. Okay, let us pray. Father, I want to thank you for allowing this word to flow richly through me. And that I am minister grace, ministering grace to the hearers, Father God. Glory to God. I thank you that they are saved, sanctified, and on their way to receive the gift of the Holy Ghost, Father. I thank you, Father God, that you have would tell no good thing because they choose to walk righteously in you father and i thank you for the ones who have already received the gift of the holy ghost glory to god they are whole these individuals that are tuning in and have caught the replay are whole hallelujah father god glory to god they have nothing missing and nothing broken hallelujah i pray that it was something said in me and through them that has leaped in their wounds god and let them never be the same in jesus name amen hallelujah well that's all i got for today guys thank you so much for tuning into my channel don't forget to send me a love donation, which is optional, if you believe that this message was of a value to you. So that's the money sign, Latoya, L-A-T-O-Y-A, 090. That's the money sign, L-A-T-O-Y-A, 090. All right, later, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is my little grand finale and closing. Thank you so much for tuning in to my channel, Vlog Talk, where we vlog and talk on this Worship Wednesday.